Hello everyone and welcome to another Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet video. And today I'm going to show you how, a good strategy for beating Grimadoom. The second boss to the DL first DLC. Alright, so I'm extreme mode right now. So I'm probably going to switch out of it because that's going to make it really hard. I'm going to do that right now. I should probably save first. And I'm going to explain a couple things on the way. Now we're probably going to have to go through a bunch of loading screens, but uh, whatever. You guys can probably just skip to the boss fight where I'll have everything because it's going to take me a while because I don't have any editing software. Ooh. All right. So, options. Normal difficulty. Hope. Don't eat that. Been over this. Do not eat. Our game. Boom. Boom. Now we're in the DLC mode. So then immediately we are gonna go to the Forgotten Temple. First, I have my team of Narcissus, who's a tank, Straya, who's a tank, and finally, M, who's a tank. So, it's important because. My character's fleshy, but healer. And it makes it a lot easier for me to focus on healing, keep myself alive and dealing DPS when I'm not constantly getting harassed. All right. So, Grimmy Doom is one of those type of bosses where it doesn't matter what level you are, you'll still get wrecked by him no matter what because he's a freaking pain in the arse. So, enjoy watching me have some salt if I get paralyzed and constantly killed a lot and yeah all right so that's Elemental Wizard this is Grimadoom you gotta be Grimadoom for uh, Lethal's request and also if you want the outfit I'm wearing which takes 10 flame sources so that means I be Grimadoom nine times to make this outfit so as you saw, he has a fireball attack, he has a lightning attack, and he has a kamikaze attack, and he starts at a level 2. He also summons two Grim Crystals until he gets down to half health, where he'll start summoning a healing adamant over in the direction I'm looking in. His weak points are on the palm of his hand, but they're pretty hard to hurt, hit because he's always moving them, which is why you want tanks on your team so that you can focus on his hands while he's focused on your teammates. In extreme mode, he's level 170. And normal and easy mode, he's level 100. SMGs are probably the best. SMGs or fast firing assault rifles are probably some of the best weapons to use against him because the more damage you do to his hands, he'll get stunned eventually. You can also stun him with the electrodynamic stunner. So having characters like Musketeer X in your team are helpful. And. Dark, whenever he roars, that's when he summons his crystals. So, got a big way to beat this dude, the fox. What you really need to do is punish. You need to punish every attack he makes. Alright, these SMGs are actually really bad for this. I'm gonna... We're gonna hide somewhere. Hopefully not get struck by lightning. I can... Up different weapons. Grab half the switch weapons. Forgot. There. Oh crap. Everybody's dying. Oh fuck. Well. Oh no. This ain't, this is already a bad start. Alright. Healing, healing field, please. Thanks for the cover. Crap, I do not want to roll. Oh crap, switch weapons. Alright, equipment. Swappity dop dop, hippity hop. Crap, lightning. Fuck, I've been exposed. Um, um. We're just removing this. We don't need it. Alright. Okay. We can do this. So, I swapped SMGs because these have a little bit more accuracy. And they have a larger magazine, making it punishable, making him the punish a lot easier. 
I also have a lot of health. I have a 90%. I have an accessory that gives me 90% health recovery in one minute. So, I self consciously recover health pretty well. These fireball attacks are probably one of the hardest attacks to dodge, especially when you accidentally run back into it and you take damage and you also deal any. At later points, he'll start shooting them from two to four times in one burst. These lightning attacks can also be dodged and rev them and can be accordingly punished. And do not take any of his attacks lightly. See? So now that I shot his critical point enough, he's now stunned, which will make it a little easy to do a lot of damage. Unless you're mean, you accidentally shoot a little bit of his cloak and then he takes like no damage. <sighs> this is gonna be most of the fight, because you get paralyzed, and then he just shoots lightning on you, and then you die, and then your team dies trying High chance your team does turn to revive. Or your freaking Naruto and gets stuck under his fucking foot. Be yeah. nice shooting it twice in a row, and if, and if you miss the first one, you're not dodging the second one, so when he starts shooting four of them, three of them. He, has, he also has two different lightning attacks, where one's only two, and the other one's a bunch of, is a haywire of billions and billions of lightning bolts. A direct hit from this fireball is perhaps undamaged. Okay. Careful. We got some credit. Yeah. No, so he likes not looking at you. Make it. Oh yeah, hiding behind cover does not help. So. Unless it's those boxes in the back of the map. Kill that boy. Punish him a lot. So now he's gonna summon his healing adamants, which now he'll start heal now he'll start summoning whenever he calls for help. He'll summon healing adamants along with two grim crystals. Dodge, dodge. And then he has a super fireball attack. Now he starts to starts to repeat. Oh yeah, and then it it goes from two lightning strikes to three lightning strikes. So it's getting harder and harder and harder to punish. Alright, this is his haywire lightning attack. So you have a really, really low chance of getting hit. If you go up really close to him, 
or that's the, at least in my experience. Usually, I don't get hit with it too much unless you're on the outside. So that's probably as easy to sleep, sick and easy as pack the punish. Okay, this is what I call the Alu Akbar. And yeah, it's because he blows himself up and it deals like 4,000 to 3,000 damage. It's ridiculous. Alrighty, summoning the healing item in behind us. And take that out. He, the healing item can actually heal him really quickly. Alright. Sometimes I like my Arxis, sometimes he's just a stupid shit. That's why I named him Naruto. This is my first run. Kinda useless. Oh my god, I'm serious. See, that was this haywire attack, and if you're on the outside, you're fucked. Because it just goes everywhere. And also, he likes to spawn lightning crap you. But that's also easily punished, if you can react quick enough. Do anything if you get shocked once, you can't move for a bit, and then you get wrecked. See, this is why I have 7,000 health on my Arthur, so you can take hits and revive me. Three thousand damage is ridiculous. But easily punished if you can space them. Like Going haywire, these are collected strikes, so that's three of them. Now, this is gonna be haywire. Nope, nope, there we go. Yeah, you can completely tell that by his hand signals if you could not tell already. And we get to punish. The weapon arts are kind of useless against them, really, in my opinion. You do them to get some good damage, though. There we go. Got it. So, recap of what you're supposed to do. Shoot him in the hands. All you need to do. Punish. Avoid his attacks. Shoot him in the hands. He gets stunned. Shoot him. If you can't do that, I believe it's five electrodynamic stunners to make him stunned. Oh, I got a legendary. Hmm? Look at it. Oh, it's the flame source. Well, or is the spaghetti there forgetting? Well, that is it for the Grimadoon tutorial guide. Oh, yep. So, thank you for watching. I hope this strategy kind of helps you. Um, I guess that's really all I have to say. Bye.